Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Palnepar Manikam. Sushmita Sen recently had a heart attack and she had a stent placed. I'm going to use her celebrity status to convey a very important message that I want to tell you guys for a long time. Let's dive deep into it. So I really don't know the medical history behind all these celebrities but there is one common theme that there is increased heart attacks in young people and also in people even when they are fit. Let's see why that happens. So what is a heart attack? Heart does not get blood supply. Heart is being surrounded by blood vessels and when the blood to the heart is being compromised or being stopped so then heart doesn't get blood which leads to heart attack. And these blood vessels to the heart are like pipelines and the pipelines are getting blocked by cholesterol plaques. So if we can find find out what is causing this cholesterol plaques then it is very easy to prevent heart attack right so to understand this you need to understand two important hormones in this channel we have been talking about insulin like anything so when our insulin is not working our blood pressure gets high our blood glucose level gets high our cholesterol levels goes up and all these together we call this as a dangerous triad called metabolic syndrome when this triad happens the cholesterol deposits in the blood vessels to the heart increases blocking the circulation so how do we know that your insulin is not working we talked about this before if you have belly fat if your waist circumference is more than 80 centimeters in females and more than 90 centimeters in male there is some kind of compromised quality of your insulin and if we can improve that by decreasing your blood pressure decreasing your glucose level decreasing your cholesterol levels then we can decrease the risk of heart attack everybody knows this the biggest question my patients are asking is why do people get heart attack when they are fit so we have always been focused on overweight belly fat causing metabolic syndrome with diabetes, high blood pressure and high cholesterol levels and we have been focusing on insulin which is absolutely important but there is a mother of all hormones called cortisol. Cortisol controls all the hormonal actions. When cortisol is high none of the hormones will work. Cortisol is a stress hormone. When your body is in stress, your body secretes cortisol and increases the glucose levels, increases the cholesterol levels, increases the blood pressure levels, thinking that you're going to use those parameters for your safety. It can cause the exact same dangerous triad called metabolic syndrome, diabetes, hypertension and hypercholesterolemia. Even when you are fit, even when you don't have belly fat, even when you don't have obesity. So regardless whether you're overweight or not, Normal, decreasing the cortisol level is absolutely important. On the top of it, we Indians have a bigger problem. We are born with a manufacturing defect. We have a smaller coronaries. The blood supply, the blood vessels supplying the heart are much smaller compared to the western population based on multiple studies done recently. This is mainly because of a smaller body surface area and has been proven repeatedly. So when you have a smaller blood vessel, then the likelihood of blockage is even higher. Whenever this can of news happens all the news channel will be like oh Sushmita Sen was very fit all these celebrities have six packs even they have heart attack there is no point for us to go to gym to go to control our diet we are going to have heart attack anyways so you only live once YOLO concept please follow the YOLO to all the people out there having a family if you follow YOLO your spouse will be solo not controlling our diet not going to gym is a stupid argument we are already at a disadvantage the blood vessels are playing our heart are much smaller which means that we need to make sure all the factors that is under our control is under control we call this as modifiable risk factors like controlling our diet going to the gym and making sure that our cortisol levels are decreased all this can be easily done i am emphasizing the point again that diet is more important than gym 80 percent is diet 20 percent is workout remember that another school of argument is that covid vaccine is the problem because of the vaccine there is heart damage and that is why all these heart attacks are happening whether you support covid vaccine or not it is very clear that just because of covid vaccine we are actually having a normal life now it has prevented deaths it has prevented serious infection that is proven and one more thing that has been proven is that covid infection can cause inflammation of the heart leading to myocarditis because many people are exposed many people got infected with covid that could be an underlying mild inflammation of the heart and the magnitude of the problem is not known yet. If you consider this as a limiting factor, then it is even more important that we control the 
modifiable risk factors within our control so that we can have our body strong to sustain any kind of attack. So what should we do? We should make sure that we have good quality insulin levels and low cortisol levels in our body regardless. So number one, if you have belly fat, if you are overweight, if you are obese, you should not eat anything late at night, preferably after 7 p.m. or even after 8 p.m. Insulin level has to be controlled. Insulin quality has to be preserved. I repeatedly emphasizing this point that if you eat late at night, your insulin will hate you and it will form those dangerous triad with blood clots inside the blood vessels sooner. Number two, let's say you don't have a weight problem. It is absolutely important that you decrease your cortisol levels. We cannot live without stress. In this modern environment, stress is everywhere. We cannot live without stress, but we need to develop the energy to cope up with the stress. The cheapest and the best way to develop that energy is having good quality of seven hours of sleep. This is the most cost effective way to decrease the cortisol levels. And the other non-medication way to decrease cortisol level is meditation. In our culture, we value emotions at the highest level. We don't care about ourselves, but we take care of our family like anything. We take care of our spouse, we take care of our kids, but we don't worry about us. So since that is the case, I am submitting a request to you. If your loved one or if your family member is having diabetes, blood pressure or high cholesterol levels, which means that they have insulin resistance, which means insulin is not working. So please have them not to eat anything after 7 p.m. And then the next bite would be 7 a.m. in the morning. So 12 hours of fasting minimum. And number two, if they are fit, they don't have any problems at all. Even then they need to make sure that they have seven hours of quality sleep and at least do 12 minutes of meditation every day. If you can make your loved ones fast for 12 hours, meditate for 12 minutes, I can guarantee you that their heart will tell you I love you. If you eat at 7 p.m., go to bed at 10 p.m. and wake up in the morning at 6 a.m., I can guarantee you that every one of us could lead a even healthier life with a longer life duration. Remember, one belly at a time, it is absolutely important. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.